You look good, Bill. What the hell? Holy shit. Guys, you see this cutie? You see this cutie? He got a haircut. Oh my god. Look at him. Stop. Cute. You, you make me look. blush. You make me blush. He's so cute. I feel kind of good right now. You compared look, to... look so good. <laughs> Aww. Anyways. What is up, Marvel Squad? Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, we are filming a Q&A today, answering all of your guys' questions, even the juicy one. We've had hundreds of comments. We've had so many DMs, so many people reaching out to us that want their questions answered. Answered. No. Jeez, tone it down. <laughs> anyway. Guys, stop. You just look so good, Okay, Can everyone in the comments say, Bill, you look amazing and you are so mm. adorable. And this your is what it looks, looks like great. when I get a haircut. And your haircut looks great and <laughs> you just look handsome. <laughs> Something different than what most YouTubers do. We are actually putting every single comment that relates to the question that that we're talking about. We're going to put every single one. It's going blah, 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 blah. All you guys is a... Uh, so to explain that, um, if the topic is what's your favorite car, any single one of your comments, I'm going to try to show them all on the screen. So hopefully we get around to almost all of you guys. And if we don't, we apologize. We will get to you soon. Make sure to turn on your post notifications and hit that subscribe button. Go for it. And comment down below when done because we give out shout outs after every single one of our videos. And we give out shout outs during, during the videos. videos yes. We're gonna start off with the first topic right now, which is... How did you guys meet slash your guys' first impression of each other? Basically, how we first met was met him at a grocery store. Yes. Okay, that's where we both worked at. Mm -hmm. The first time we actually like talked to each other was um, I talked to her sister first. I bought her something, and Mariah actually went up to me when I was bagging and gave me five dollars for the chips ahoy, right? Yeah. That I bought your sister. So, so it wasn't even anything about you and me. It was about me buying something for your sister. Yeah. And you gave me the money for that. And that's the first time we actually, all we said was like, thank you. <laughs> so my first impression was, dang, you are the cutest boy I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. Yeah. He's so hot. <laughs> I wanted to date him. Yeah. So that's kind of how we first met was at a grocery store. But, um, yeah. yeah. So next question is, a big question that everyone wants to be answered. Marriage slash kids. When do we want to get married? And how many kids? Do we want kids? Anything along the line of kids? And I came up with, I want either two or less. Well, why are you talking to Danny, not me? Because I don't even know how many kids you wanted. We were just talking and I Danny was just like, steal my man. well, maybe like at most two. I don't really want three. Really? No. Probably two, max three. Where did you get this max from? I have because max that, okay, two, when you get a, okay, every single person two. that has a kid says, "Oh my god, I keep wanting more and more and more." Me and you aren't gonna want to stop it too when we have two cute little well, ones coming out. Yeah, so that's your side. That's my side. Okay. Now you and, guys know. And marriage. Um. We don't. Okay. Marriage and kids is not gonna be until years and years. Because, Honestly, yeah, she's my forever. Yes, and and we I already know I'm, that. I'm your forever. No, you are my forever. We're trying to live life, enjoy life. We want to travel. Yeah, we marriage is out. Yeah, out we, of the uh, question until maybe like we get a little older. We're just yeah. We're not gonna rush anything because there's no point to. We're letting it just all happen when yeah. the time is right. The time is right, and that's just how we're exactly. doing things. What are some things that you dislike and like about each other and what is your pet peeves? Thank you. I'll start because mine are better. Okay. The likes that I like about you is that you're such, you're just like me. Yeah. And you have a really good personality and you're, you. thanks. And you um, have really pretty eyes and you're just like me all around. He's got the same personality and as me. And what I like about you, I like that you're hyper. I like that you're not boring. Oh yeah. You don't. Yeah. Bore me, okay? I like that you're energetic. I like that you cry in the shower. Um, I, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So, um, uh, I like that, uh, I like everything about you and you're beautiful and you look like a model. Oh, mm. now it's constant dislikes. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun, yeah. I dislike Ow. that um, you get mood swings when you get hungry. That kinda, that kinda triggers me a little bit. Um, a, lot, a lot of bit, you know, because I don't do anything wrong. You get mood swings, and I dislike that you get your period because mood swings, you know. The one thing I dislike about you is you take our showers. <laughs> we're on a we're on a really on a rush schedule sometimes. Okay, thirty minutes later, 
I'm like, Bill, I'm in gotta the shower. shower. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. All right, what else? The pet peeve about him. So he's go, he smacks his food. He's like, <laughs> especially when it's something really crunchy, and he'll just be. Like, I don't smack as much as you say I do. Oh my god, yes you do. It's no. so bad. It's not like you smack like. It's like. Well, you look, like, you look like a damn cow. How you eat. All right. Are we in school? Do we go to college? Are we in high school? You know. So. No, we're not in high school anymore. I'm just gonna start off. I graduated high school. And I'm currently working at my dad's um, auto body shop where I love. And the reason why I'm not going to college right now is because I love making money and I love working on cars. And it's so fun working at my dad's shop, honestly. Working with your parents, you would think it would suck, but honestly, it does not suck mm -hmm. at all. Even when everyone else is like, you know, pissed in the shop because, oh, you know, working on cars, you know, whatever. No, I'm like that kid that's running around, doing everything, always keeping the mood up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Okay, I've been going to college. I graduated 2017 in high school. This is my second year and I am taking a semester off so it's kind of like I went for a year and a half because um, I just feel like I needed a break because I didn't know what for sure I wanted to go into so I'm like kind of just, you know, getting to know me, figuring out what I want to do so I'm not wasting money and so I'll be back um, for in the summertime. How old are we? I am 20. We get this a lot. A lot. I am 18. But, but we're not two years apart. We're like one year apart. We're one year. It's just our birthdays align like for like a few months when she turns. Then it's two years. But like my birthday's in May. So I'm, it's coming up and yeah. I'm going to be 19. So I'm, yeah. I'm a cougar. Cougar? She's a cougar. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we want to start a YouTube channel? That's a good um, question. We get that a lot. What? Too. What's our favorite part about doing YouTube? Anything along the lines of what yeah. we like, what we, why we want to start a YouTube boom, channel, boom, what boom. we like, you know. Comments everywhere about that. Ever since I was little, I wanted to start a YouTube channel, like literally. But my dad kept saying, no, you can't start one. No, I don't want you on the internet. So I couldn't start one. And then I just kind of just gave up on the fact that I probably won't be on YouTube. And same thing with me. I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So he also bad. had gaming. I had a game. I have a gaming channel, guys. You guys are not going to find out what it is. <laughs> Cause I have a little baby voice in there. Oh my god, if you guys seen it, I kind of want to expose them right now because I want you guys to go look at Maybe in the near future we could show you guys what my gaming channel was because you I'm sound literally like, like a little girl. What is that, guys? Um, today we're gonna play some Call of Duty, you know, like stuff like that. So my mom didn't um, want me, you know, doing uh, YouTube because obviously, what mother wants their kid playing video games on YouTube when they're this high and they want them to experience the world and go make money and stuff so youtube has kind of been in our nature and years later yeah years later we met each other they're talking about youtube and like how much we <coughs> want to do youtube so bad i'm like well why don't we use our youtube channel and just do it for fun because we yeah. love editing we love just being on camera i already knew how to edit from my yeah. recent youtube that did not go anywhere, by the way. Uh, so this has been a dream of ours since ours since we were little. It wasn't. We're not in it for the money. We're not in it for the views. Hell. We're not in it for anything. We just love. We want to inspire people. Yeah. We just love being on camera. We I love was to thinking entertain. This on the car ride here, like it means so much. It means more to us than what we do for you guys. And you guys might think differently, but it's just like we cannot thank you enough. And so many people hated on us when we first started, yes. and now. Eh, everyone saw how we're you know getting up there now everyone's starting a channel literally getting messages every day from people like oh you're doing such a like, good job i knew you could do it it's like and then the next up. week you, you literally they ignored me a YouTube channel. you ignored me two months ago like, like, bye. Like, we know yeah. the we know who the real ones are and we know yeah. who the fake ones are so anyways yeah. that's our youtube story yeah hope you like it advice on relationships and how do we stay so strong and stuff Advice on relationships is even though whether if it's distance or if you guys are get together like how we are or anything Make sure you guys have communication yeah. Trust and you guys just have a good time together you guys even if you guys understand too It's healthy to fight like not fight but like you know get in disputes because then you learn more about each other So don't think that's a bad thing to argue or stuff But if it's like an unhealthy way where it's physical abuse then yeah, that might be something where you're that's not good. Of course that's not but, good. Why? Yeah. So every couple argues. That's just how it is. You know, we argue sometimes. We hate arguing, but um, we don't do it a lot. And you gotta just have a lot of trust mm -hmm. and not have to, you know, act like you're babysitting them because you're scared that you're gonna lose them or whatever. You gotta just, you know, have, have a fun. good time. Have you fun. get in a relationship to have fun, not to argue and, and make your life more stressful. So 
that's our, my best advice is to just take it easy and, and have enjoy fun it. and enjoy it. Who made the first move? Know me. You don't know how to do it. Basically, basically we went to Starbucks for our first date, and mm -hmm. that was um, awesome. We sat in the parking lot in my car and just talked, and then we uh, went back to the house. We, we were talking, you know, just chilling on the couch. And my sister comes down and goes, are you guys gonna kiss yet? Like, you guys haven't kissed yet. Oh my god. Like, we literally were like so stressed because we both knew we wanted to, but at the same time, like, she just made it so clear, and now we were both thinking about it, and, but yeah, anyways, I made the first move, it went great, obviously. He just grabbed my face, and he just, that's what he did. That's, I, that's not what I did. Yeah, he did. No. Yeah, he did. I get a little, I get a little peck. No, he, <laughs> I don't know. Have we cheated on each other? Hell no. no. No, and I'm going no. to say this, I'm going to expose some of the, my old friends or people that I used to hang around with. You know who you are, okay? They were in our lives. They were in our lives saying I cheated on Bill with this kid, okay? What, why? Like, are you are you that jealous? Like, just, shh, shh, I have like, to rant for a second. I'm ranting Are too. you that jealous get a of us? Get a life. No, can I say something, no, please? No. Bill, what, listen, let me say just, something. Just listen to me, okay? Bill, let me say something, please. Okay, no, just listen to me. No, please. Please. But guys, he, they... You just... Stop. <laughs> they... You must be really uh, jealous and you must have no life but to come on our lives and come on our, you know, YouTube or anything and leave comments like that. It's very disrespectful and I would never in a million years, no matter wh whoever I was with in the past either, I never once cheated. That is not how I was raised. Me neither. So get your comments, take your jealousy, Walk and get door. off our page. That's you're, all I had to say because I, the Marvel Squad. <laughs> I was so annoyed when I saw that comment. I oh, thought it was no. very disrespectful. And I was, exactly. But sorry, you will just That's be not, blocked yeah, and cut just, out. Like, I don't care. Like, we'll it, just, it, we'll just, just know. just block you and it'll be that, you know, Just you can't. know your hate comments don't bother us. Like, we laugh at not them. Not at all, we laugh. We laugh. We literally go through them and I, I show my family. Like, yeah, we're like, like look at this I'm hate like, comment, how here, funny. Look at, look at this person, like, what it, like, how could you say this to someone that you don't even know and yeah. you just, yeah. But no, to sum up that, no, I have never cheated. I will never cheat. I love this boy to death. He's my brother. Yeah, yeah. Nobody will ever come in between us, so. You need to keep that in your mind. Exactly. Anybody who's watching. What's our dream car? Well, can I start off with mine? Go for it. Obviously ours together, our dream car together. It's a Lambo or Not together, like... that's mine. Oh. Okay. Well my dream car is a yeah, Corvette. You could, you could go. Okay, I want a Corvette. I want I want I don't know if I want like a white or if I want a blue one. I don't know what color I want, but I definitely want red interior in my Corvette. I just want I just want a Corvette so bad. It's literally my dream car. Yeah, she, that's all she talks about. Every single time she sees a Corvette. I sent me and his sister are obsessed with Corvettes, yeah. so I'll send Snapchats. But it's I'm not obsessed. just any Corvette. It's a white Corvette. It's a white with Corvette. Red, red interior, interior. Black rims. Black rims. Black Everything. Tint, yeah. Mm. Mine, on the other hand, obviously is a Lambo. Like I'm all about supercars. Go you go out. to car shows all I the time. I will go out of my way, yes, yeah, to go to a car show. I'm obsessed too. Me if I'm passing obsessed. it and I see something, like if I see a Lambo, I'm there. And I'm, I'm taking a picture. On. Yeah, me too. Yes. We're like examining it fully. So if the stars align again, and you know, maybe sometime in the future, even if I could just like rent test one. drive one yeah if Crap. even if oh i could god. just drive one for like a week that yes. dream come true hey, maybe that, that but if i can own one, oh my god that'd uh, be amazing are we ever gonna do a p.o box okay i think that we should start doing one soon because yeah. we'll comment down below what you guys think about that i think that we should just so we have it there for our entire channel whoever wants to send us fan mail and then we can do like a video of us opening boxes or we can yeah, put them on cool. our story instagram stories and tag you guys i feel like it's just too early like I, I don't know like i really want to do it and make a video about it because that'd be awesome we could just connect with you guys even more mm -hmm. than we already are like it i just i love giving back and just yeah so reading your stuff is amazing and seeing it physically that you actually like made it you know and handcrafted it That'd be like, that'd, be awesome. that'd make me cry. Yeah, it would make me cry I'd, I'd freak too. Out. So, like, comment oh down, so comment down below if you start doing a P.O. box. Yeah. Have you guys ever been pulled over by a cop? By the popo? By the popo. The, the Should we explain how we got pulled? Yes, we have to explain the story me and him got pulled so over. So me and her were coming home from the grocery store that we worked at, and we were both in our uh, uniforms, you know, with the ties and everything. 
I guess I was going like 60 and Guys, he 45. was goofing around. I'm gonna explain now this part of the story. He was goofing around. He's goofing around, you know, doing his little swerve that he does in the street. I wasn't. Shh. We start turning into his neighborhood, and the, he goes like this. He goes, I'm covering my eyes. I can't see. I can't see. I was acting like I wasn't like yeah, looking, looking at the road. She was in the passenger seat, and I was like this. Yeah, he's like, I can't see. I can't see. I go, Bill, you're getting pulled over. I didn't know I was getting pulled over. And he goes, over. no, I'm not. I don't believe you. My eyes are closed. I go, Bill, <laughs> you are getting pulled over. He didn't yeah. believe me. It wasn't that long. It was like really quick, but like I didn't know in like the first five seconds. And... Um, anyways, we got let off because he saw we were coming home from work. Cops where he lives suck. I got Cops pulled over. Suck. I got pulled over going literally 45 and a 45. They're just trying to. They do told their me job. I was going 55. They're just trying to live their life and do their job. Oh crap. It's okay, but anyways, yes, um, we've gotten pulled over. So this is a question that's asked a while. How is it like dating a twin? And did you ever get confused when you first met us? So honestly, dating a twin, it's kind of cool because like. It's kind of weird because at first you just met, you know, the girl that you're dating, which is, you know, Mariah. And I didn't mix up how they, like, when I met them, they looked exact the same. Brown hair, everything. But I mixed up their names a lot. I would call, I would think she was Meg and she was Mariah. And then, like, sometimes I would call them by the right name, sometimes I wouldn't. It was just really confusing with the names just because, like, I couldn't put the name to the face, but I could tell their face apart I, it was really weird but we no. both had long blonde okay when he first met us we both had the same hair okay and i wish he still did because maybe pulling pranks on him still to this day but <laughs> we had the same hair we looked so much alike so i have a feeling it's identical probably, twins so yeah. yes it is cool though because like identical twins seem to bond better than like regular sisters oh yeah me and my sister are like best so friends. like they're you know we hang out with uh, her a lot it's different you know all right, All right, so guys. this is gonna be our last question. Our. <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute. Uh, this is our goals for, for 2019. 2019. So yeah. my goal for 2019 is to work hard, yes. get good grades in school when I go back to college in the, in the fall. Um, Grow mm -hmm. YouTube. I hope we expand. Like I, my goal for the end of 2019 is 100,000. I'm hoping yeah. we can surpass that, but I'm not gonna think. I'm just gonna think, you yeah. know. And that's our goal. Like even if we don't hit it, we are still like. I was just thinking this actually today too when I was at home before I came here. Like I feel like people when they get bigger, they think of their subscribers as a number. Like who wants to feel like they're just a number watching someone? Like I hate that when they bring up subscribers they're like oh yeah i have 14 like who cares how many subscribers you have it's the it's the it's it's the people it's behind the people behind the it yeah yes. it's the people who are supporting you that's what makes us love what we're doing yes. we don't care about any of we that we have hundreds of supporters thousands of supporters already and we don't label them as a number this is something even if we don't do this as our job I, this will always be our job because this is something that we love doing and yes. we already have the fan base, we can't let, we you, guys let you guys no. down. No, so we so promise don't ever you that. Think that. Like we're ever gonna break up or any of this, you know, crap that YouTubers do just for attention. Yeah, that's not us, and you obviously can tell it's not us. I just want to be the best brother, the best son, the best boyfriend Aww. that anyone can have, and that's my goal for 2019 and obviously forever. But... Guys, he's so <laughs> cute oh and the best YouTuber God. that you guys and inspire you guys yeah. forever because this is our job forever and ever and ever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, guys. So that wraps uh, up our Q and A. Yes, so we're gonna wrap it up right here before the emotions kick in because I'm getting a little teary again. Are you? No. Okay. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, they're there. But yeah, I'm sorry if we didn't answer all of your guys' questions. There was a lot. And if you did not see your name, if you not see your comment, if you don't be discouraged. We literally looked through all of them. We saw yes. all your guys' names. They're in our heads. They're in our phones. Um, just keep going ham commenting. We will literally always shout you guys out um, when we see you. It's just we can only shout out so many people. And now that we're doing more than one shout out a video, oh my god, He's it's so literally good. it's gonna be so good. You guys are gonna get so much feedback, and we love it because you guys love it. You know, so just our, get yeah. ready for 2019. Buckle your seatbelts. We're posting every Sunday and Wednesdays. 
podcast. It's a new thing now. Before we leave, we gotta to give, give our, our post notification shout out, even though this whole video has been about you guys. So we wanna give a shout out to Silence of the Darkness. Hey, shout out to Silence of the Darkness. We love you, we love all your support. Thank you and for uh, being on our Instagram, our YouTube channel, and just showing love all around. But we'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, Peace. Peace. Um, this is the uncut version of Mariah and Bill. Um, oh, the uncut version. Uh, now Mariah is going to show her true colors and smack me. And no, don't actually smack me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm commentating it. <laughs> what was that? The dog smack? Alright, guys. Peace. Peace.